Hey guys, I had a request to play a few hymns, to do some lessons on a few hymns. Um, folks who wanted to play in church or just you know, kind of like the sound of them and wanted to learn how to play them on the whistle, so I figured I'd pick a couple. And the first one I'm going to do here is one called uh, Be Thou My Vision. It's a, it's a real old one. It's a, it's a great old tune. Uh, and the last time I played it was in high school. I played it with my high school choir. So I thought it would be kind of a cool one, kind of an old school one to play here. Uh, I'm going to start off playing it in G, uh, and I'll come back and do it in D as well, in case you wanted to learn a different tuning as well, different different fingering for it. Uh, G I find to be a little bit easier just because the range of the song fits a little bit of the, a little bit better there. So we'll start with that, and as usual, I'll kind of play it basic, and then I'll come back and play a bit more ornamented, so you can hear how it goes. So here's the basic melody for "Be That My Vision" on the whistle. So that's the basic melody. Hopefully you're able to pick that up. Uh, if you need sheet music for that, that's it's such a common tune, you'd be able to track that down no problem, I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm going to go back through and play it with a bit more ornamentation. Uh, obviously not too much quicker than that, because it is a hymn. We're not going to go too crazy. Uh, so here we go again with Be Thou My Vision. Uh, still in G. So again, I try not to do too much to that. A couple of ornaments in there. I uh, don't want to go too crazy with it because uh, the melody is so pretty. You don't want to get in the way of it, really. A um, couple of things, just really some taps. Um, the, the melody does kind of stay on, its own, on one note for a bit there. Um, so you can start off with that in the bit in the beginning. Just hitting a tap. Or you can do kind of a short roll. in there on the E as well. Um, so and then on the second part there, a lot on the A, so you kind of got to figure out some way to break it up. A couple different ways to do that. So play around with that, work in some stuff where you can, because um, it's like I said, it's a real pretty tune, so it's a, it's a good one you can kind of have some fun with, hopefully. Um, now, if you do need to play it in D, or if you were playing on a different keyed whistle, transposing as you will, um, it certainly works great. The, the trouble is you're starting up a bit higher, so it gets to be a bit shrill because it does hit that third D. Uh, but I'll play it here so you can hear how it goes anyway. So that's the tune all in the same octave. Uh, certainly nothing wrong with that, but as I'm sure you heard, that, that high D is a bit shrill. Uh, to solve that, what you can do is drop it down the octave, which if I remember right is what I did when I last played this back in high school. Um, so to play that, you just play the first part the same. There's nothing wrong with where that's at. All right, so that's the same. Now the second part, rather than starting on that high D, uh, the high E, Like there, you can drop it down. So here I kind of jump back and forth a bit. Um, so that's one you just kind of have to play around with, see what you like. Uh, there's no hard and fast rule to play it that way. So um, so play what fits, and especially if you're playing with other people, with singers, you don't want to blow them away. So mix it up, see what works, and uh, 
or if you're really lucky, you can just play it in G because it certainly works a bit better there uh, from as far as the scale goes. So hopefully that's of some value. Play around with that. Let me know if I can help on that one. And if you have any questions about how I did it, uh, please feel free to drop me a comment or something like that. And I'll see you in the next one. So thanks very much.